hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome my name is anita fon and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time i upload a new tutorial to my channel if you're all member you're welcome back thank you for coming back to my channel uh today i'm going to show you on how to drop this post here top step by step so if you want to know how i'll be going about it keep on watching what i have here is my drafting paper the next thing i'm going to do is to take my shoulder measurement divided by two mine is 14 14 divided by two is going to give me seven inch i'm going to mark that up next thing i'll do is to slant it down by one inch for the shoulder slope i'm going to move now to my armhole depth which is seven and a half if you don't know how to get your armhole depth divide around your boss by six then you add one and a half inch to it i'll go ahead now i'll connect these points up with a straight line and i'm going to do the same thing here when i'm done doing so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead i'll be marking the neck depth of three inch the neck width of three inch mark and connect it up I'll go ahead and connect my shoulder slant. Once I'm done doing so, I'm going to uh, measure from the shoulder to the bust point line, which is uh, 10 inch, from the shoulder to the under bust, which is uh, 13 and a half inch, from my shoulder to the length of this top, which I'm going to go with 19 inch. Mark and connect it up with a straight line. The next thing I will do is to come here and measure of whatever I have and divide it by two, which is seven and a half divided by two is going to give me 3.075. You're going to mark the center, go in by half inch. Take round the bus and divide it by four and mark it up here. Once I'm done doing so, I'll go ahead and take the nipple to nipple, which is 8 inch divided by 2, is going to give me 4 inch. I will mark that up. I'm going to mark it up here, and I'll also mark it up here at the length. I'll go ahead and connect it up with the straight line. After connecting that up, I'll go ahead to mark up my dart. If you're working with a ball size of uh, 34 inch, use a dart of one and a half inch. If you're working with a ball size of 38, use a dart of uh, two inch. If you're working with a ball size of above 38, you use a dart of one and a half inch. I will just take my one and a half, I will divide that by two, which is going to give me three quarter inch. I'll mark that to the both side. Then I'm going to come to the boss point. I'm going to go down by three quarter inch, but you can go down up to one and a half inch, depending on how bossy you are. That's to create ease around the uh, boss point. Once I'm done doing so, now I'll come to my chest line. I'm going to go up by one inch, but you can go up up to two inch. One inch is okay for me. Then I'll just go ahead and connect it up with a straight line like this. And I'll also extend this line up here. Next thing I'll do is to go ahead now. I will mark my dot of three quarter inch and three quarter inch to the right, both right and left. I'll go ahead now, I'm going to connect it all the way to that point, like this. And I'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side as well. 
after doing so what i'm going to do now is uh i'm going to mark how deep i want it to be you can just connect it all the way to the chest line or you connect it all the way to the boss point line which is what i'm going to be doing here connect it all the way to the boss point line like this once i'm done doing so i'm going to come to the uh the arm hold right here i don't want it to be choked up to the arm hold so i'll just measure of whatever i have here and divide about two which is uh uh one and a half divided by two is going to give me three quarter inch i'm going to go down by half inch from there's that to get the center this is our new uh chest line so i'll put one quarter of my boss measurement grandma boss is 34 divided by four is going to give me eight and a half i'm going to go ahead and connect it up like this then i'll flip up my curve i'm going to connect it up like that once I'm done doing so, I'll go ahead to put all my measurement. Around my waist is uh, 29 divided by 4 is going to give me 7.025. I'm going to replace back the dart allowance. I'll come here to my underboss. Around my underboss is 30 divided by 4 is going to give me 7.5. I'll replace back the dart allowance. I'll come here to my I'll come here to my chest line. I'll put one quarter of my boss measurement which is 34 divided by 4 is going to give me eight and a half i will mark that up then i'm going to replace back the dart allowance as well after doing so i'm going to go ahead and connect that up once i'm done connecting that up i will level them up and i will cut it up we'll be using the center uh, side front to cut up the back Once I'm done cutting it, I'll just take the, the side front. I'm going to place it up here like this. And I'm going to just mark the length. I'll go ahead and connect it up with the straight line. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Connect it up with the straight line. Okay, I will take now the nipple to nipple, which is 8 inch divided by 2. It's going to give me 4. I'll mark that up. Then I'm going to connect it up like this. After doing so, I'm going to be creating up my dart of half inch, half inch both sides. And I will connect it all the way to the top. Then I'll go ahead and put one quarter of my waist and one quarter of my boss measurement like we did for the front. And replace back the dart allowance. At this top part, I'm just going to put one quarter of my boss. There's no dart allowance there, so I will not be replacing back any dart allowance there. Then I'm going to go ahead now. I'll be adding one inch for my zipper allowance. Connect that up. Then I'll mark, measure what I, whatever I have here and divide it by two. Go in by half inch. Connect it up like this. This is to to eliminate that uh, zipper portion behind. Next thing I will do is to come here. I'm going to go ahead. I'll go down by one inch and I'm going to connect that up. After doing so, I will cut that up. You can choose to separate the back into two or you can just leave it off for one full piece like that so uh, i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up like comment and share and i hope you were able to understand this time around thank you so much for watching